हेलो गाइस दिस इज कृष्णा आदिया एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल इन लास्ट सेशन वी स्टडीड अबाउट लूप्स इन जावा स्क्रिप्ट नाउ व्हाट टू डू इन दिस सेशन इन दिस सेशन वी विल लर्न अबाउट इवेंट्स इन जावा स्क्रिप्ट नाउ व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय इवेंट्स इन जावा स्क्रिप्ट इन जावा स्क्रिप्ट व्हेन द जावा स्क्रिप्ट इंटरैक्ट्स विद द एचटीएमएल एट दैट टाइम द हैंडलिंग इज डन यूजिंग इवेंट्स नाउ व्हाट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ इवेंट्स like uh, when you click a button or when a user clicks a button it's an event that, that is click event or when a, a window is closed by a browser or closed by the user at that time it's also an event that is closing event so these are some types of events that are available in javascript and many other languages so now uh, there are two, three basic types of events in javascript that are keyboard event mouse event and form event now let's see the types of uh, keyboard mouse and form events so first one is keyboard event now what do you mean by keyboard event keyboard event means uh, while doing anything uh, you perform some task by uh, using the keyboard at that time keyboard event is performed like key press or key down uh both are uh, just like similar uh, what is the main difference between that we will see in our coding section but now what do you mean by key press and key down key press and key down means when you type a uh, letter into the text box or you went uh, press a key uh, that is right or left up or down to move your position of the uh, uh, document at that time the key press or key down event is performed and that is key up key up when uh, means when you have pressed a key and when you release that key at that time the key up event is occurred so these are the types of keyboard events now mouse events what do you mean by mouse event mouse event means the task which you perform by using the mouse at that time the mouse event is performed so the events are mouse move click and double click mouse move means, means you when uh, drag the cursor into the screen at that time the mouse move event is occurred then it's click means when you perform a click by a that is a single click with you using the mouse at that time the click event is performed and double click when you perform the double click using mouse at that time double click is used so a uh, click is generally used when you submit a form and uh, double click uh, generally is used uh, when you open a uh, uh, chrome or uh, we can say the any types of software on the windows or linux etc now the last is form events form events means the events uh, occurred uh, in the form that is on focus on change and on submit on focus means when uh, any input type or we can say when any element is uh, focused by the user at that time on focus element is fired then uh, on change on change means uh, when any text or uh, some value of the text box or any element of the form is changed at that time on change event is fired and the last one is on submit means when you submit the form at that time on submit event of the form is fired now let's see how to use all these events in our code okay so over here first we will start with the keyboard events so now let's save the file i will be saving the file as uh, keyboard events dot html uh, now let's uh, give the title over here as uh, keyboard events Uh, what we will do in our keyboard event is we will take a text box over here and when the key press or key down or key up event will occur uh, we will show an alert message according to the event that is occurred so now first we need the text box and we know that uh, that is taken using the input type text and uh, we will give the id over here and the uh, id uh, we will give uh, msg uh, we have that is message and we have given the id uh, as we want to uh, take the uh, element over here so uh, for that uh, we need the script uh, why we need the script is uh, we are performing the events using the javascript so we need the script tags over here and now what we need to do to perform the keyboard event is uh, uh, let's take a variable i am taking tb over here that is the short form of text box as we are working with the text box so it will be easy to remember the variable and now we will get the uh, 
element over here by document dot uh, get element by id and we will pass the id over here that is message uh now what we need to do is uh we will take a event listener uh what that event listener will do a uh, event listener will uh, combine the event with the uh element that we have taken so for that uh let's use the variable over here that we have declared then dot and then we need to do is uh add the event listener so for that add event listener and uh by this way you can add the event listener over here now what we need to do is uh between this uh brackets uh we will declare the uh, event that we need to do is first of all we will do the key press event so let's type key press over here then uh, we know that it's an event so uh, type the event over here then equal to and the arrow will be over here it's the syntax to uh, perform the keyboard events, uh, not only keyboard events, but all the events that we perform in our JavaScript. That is either mouse event, keyboard event, or uh, uh, form events, whatever it is. Now, what we need to do is that when the key press event is occurred, at that time we need to show an message. So, uh, we will show an alert message over here that key press. So by this way you can code the keyboard event of key press and uh, now let's try that this works or not. So let's open our file. Uh, our file was keyboard underscore event dot html. So I will type a over here and key press event is occurred. Now I type b over here key press event is occurred. Now uh, I am clicking over here the escape key but the escape key doesn't works. Then shift that also doesn't work. Alt that also doesn't work and if you do any function keys and then also that doesn't works. Why this is occurs because that is this is the main difference between key press and key down that uh, in key press, this all the special keys that are escape, alter, or we can say any function keys or shift keys doesn't work in the key press, and that all the things works in the key down. So now let's see how the key down event works. The same does over here. Just we need to change is uh, instead of key press, we need to write the key down over here, and let's try. And let's uh, also change the alert message over here so you get the proper idea. Now let's reload our file. Uh, you can see our file is completely reloaded. First, I will press the escape over here and the key down events works. Means in key down, there's all the special keys that are escape, function, shift, all works over here. Now let's press the shift that also works so this is the main difference between key press and key down and let's try by uh, pressing some alphabets over here uh, let's type a and the key down event has been occurred and we can see that uh, the letter a has been print over here now what is our next our next event is key up event and uh, so as we know uh, we just have to change the name of the event over here and we also change the alert box over here that is the message in the alert box so now let's uh, reload this file uh, when i will click uh, means when i will press any button at that time the key press event will occur or key down event will occur but when i release that key at the time key up event is occurred so now i am pressing a over here and when i released the key up event is occurred again now i press b over here you can see the b is going but the alert message is not showing because it has key up when i release the key the key up event has been occurred so by this way you can perform these three events in the keyboard that is uh, key up event, key down event and key press event. So now let's switch to our next events that is click event or we can say the mouse events. Now in mouse events we know that there are three types of events that are uh, 
click event double click event and uh, we know that the last one is move move now uh, let's save the file and give the title over here as mouse events and what we will do in our mouse event is we will take a button over here and then when the button will be clicked double click or the mouse will move we will show the appropriate alert message so now first let's take the button over here and give the id uh, btn and the text that will be appeared in the output uh, on the button and then uh, we know that we need the script text then let's declare a variable the script which we are writing over here we know that uh, why we write it as we have learned in the uh, keyboard events and then the id goes over here that is btn then we need to add the event listener over here so bt dot add event listener and uh, let's start with the click and we will show the alert message over here that uh, you clicked me so by this way you can perform the click event now let's see that this works or not so let's open our file so when i will click on the button the alert message should appear uh, let's try it uh, you clicked me the alert message has been appeared so our code is perfect now uh, we will uh, perform the double click event over here and let's uh, change the alert message also now let's reload the file and first try with double clicking it and then by single click or uh, when i will double click over here you can see that the alert message has been appeared now let's reload the file and uh, let's try by clicking one time see you can see that uh, uh, the alert message has been not appeared over here so the code for double click is also perfect now we need is a uh, mouse move so we can write over here mouse move and uh, let's change the message over here let's say as you moved me so now uh, let's reload the file and when I will move uh, the mouse, you can see that uh, you moved me. But uh, you can see one difference over here that if I uh, move the mouse on this blank screen, the alert message is not appearing. But when I appeared on the button, it has uh, appeared that you moved me. It's because of uh, we have given the ID over here of the button only. So when the cursor or the mouse will uh, move into the button at that time only, the alert message will be seen. So by this way, you can perform the mouse events. And now let's switch to our last event that is form events. Let's save the file as form events html and what we will do in our form events is we know that there are many events but we will see only three events over here uh, the three events are uh, on submit that will be occurred when the form will be submitted then on blur or on focus and uh, then our last event is on change so now uh, first let's start with uh, on blur on focus and the last one is on submit so now uh, let's see uh, first on blur so let's take the form over here and give the id uh, as frm now uh, let's uh, take two uh, elements of the form the first we will take is text box and uh, let's give the id to it as txt and then we will take the button over here so input type will be submit 
and its id will be btn and let's give the value uh, submit now what we need is the scripting elements now first we will perform on blur so let's take the variable and we will perform the blur on the text box so uh, let's declare a variable and we know that we have to write document dot get element by id and this uh, again i am repeating that uh, why we are declaring this variable and why we are performing the scripts we i have teached in the keyboard events and then the id goes over here uh, that is txt and then we need to add the event listener over here so add event listener and the event uh, let's say as uh, focus and event and let's uh, type the alert message over here uh, you blurred me now let's check that this works or not so let's open our file it's form events and when i will focus over here you blurred me okay uh now okay so i have uh, placed the wrong message over here it will be you focused me uh sorry for this and now again uh you know that it will work as we have tried once but then also let's try one up once time so when i will focus over here you will see that you focused me okay and uh, so now let's do the same thing with blur and let's change the text over here that will be blurred and now uh, let's open our file So this is called as focus and when I will click outside the text box will be blurred means its focus will be removed. So the alert has been appeared that you blurred me. So by this way the blur and focus events work and now our next is on submit. And then uh, as we are submitting the form so we need to give the id of the form over here and uh, let's say as uh, you submit form okay so now let's try that this works or not hope so that this works okay so let's type some text over here or uh, if you don't write the text over here then also it's okay and when i will click on the submit button the alert message should appear that you submit me or the, the message uh, that we have yeah you submit the form okay so let's see that that's appeared or not you submit form yes this box so over here over all the three events that is keyboard event mouse event and form event is uh, done and all works perfectly uh, thank you for watching my video if you like it then please subscribe my channel